Hi guys, Chris Rollins here from Allwood Audubon. I'm here with my son Dallas today and uh, we are plein air painting, which is basically French for, hey, let's paint outside. Now my son's doing an oil painting uh, and he's using a small palette of some browns, greens, blues, and yellows. Uh, and he's doing a wonderful painting here. I, on the other hand, am not going to be painting. I'm going to be using Crayola crayons. So uh, I've never tried this before. Uh, I'm going to give it a shot. So grab your pencils, your crayons, your paints, and join us for Art and Nature at Allwood Audubon. One of the great things about plein air painting is you have so many scenes you can choose from. There are so many beautiful areas out here that we can paint. And uh, I'm going to focus right here on this area of the cattails and the algae that's in the water. I might put a little bit of the trees in the background and the reflections uh, and the blue sky. So I'm going to get my palette ready and we'll begin. Now, one of the things you're going to want when you're painting outside or doing crayon or color pencil, whatever you're going to do, uh, be prepared for outside and being out here for an hour or so. Uh, you might want to make sure you have water with you, sunscreen, uh, bug spray, depending on what you're having, uh, and uh, of course, all the materials you need. First thing I'm going to do is a quick sketch uh, just a basic sketch of what I'm going to be painting here. So I'm just going to put in a couple of my just real loose of where the cattails are going to be. So I'm going to have my cattails through here and a little bit of the algae is going to be coming through here. A couple little cattails going to be showing up here. And what you're doing is you're creating an interpretation of what you're seeing. So if, uh, if you need to move something, if there's a, something that uh, there are too many distractions, too many trees or whatever where you're painting, mine's pretty good. But if there's too much there, you can, you can take things out or you can add to it. Uh, you're creating um, your own interpretation of what you're seeing, your impression of outside. So I've got my picture sketched out of the cottonwood trees in the back, just a few of them. I'm taking out some of the other cottonwoods that are here and just leaving in a few cottonwoods and uh, my water and, and my cattails. Now what I'm going to do is I'm picking out the colors I'm going to use for my Crayola uh, drawing. So I've got quite a few of them, but I still have more down here that I'm going to use. And one thing is, sometimes when you're painting, you put all your darks in first and then you can put lights over them, especially if you're doing acrylics or some of the others. But with this, it's going to be very difficult to put our lights over top of dark. So I'm going to put in my lights first, crayon in, color in my light colors first, and then I'm going to start to add my dark colors as we go along. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to grab one of my lighter colors here and I'm going to put in just some of the light in the uh, get another brown here I'm going to put in just some color some light color into the tops of the cattails they've got their nice cotton tail to them and just putting in, and you don't have to do them exact. You're just looking for wherever you want, wherever you want to put some cattails. You can do that. And like with any of the colors, I can layer. So I'm going to put in some different colors, and then I might put some white over top of this to soften up. A 
my cattails. I'm not going to put in too many, just a few here and there. Have some coming in here. Now I can go over some of that with my white to just lighten it up a little bit. The other nice thing about being out here painting, you really feel where you're painting. It sort of helps you add some color. It's, it's warm out here, and so it really will make me think about using some nice hazy colors. All right, so I've got that in. Now I'm going to put some of my lighter color of green in here. And let's see what greens we have here. This is it's a little darker than I want. I might actually start start with a couple of my yellow, sort of my yellow ochre colors. I'm going to put some of those down. That's a little nicer. Get in some little color. Some of my lighter colors in there. And this is all, all of this is going to be experimenting with your colors, whatever colors you have and what works for you. Put a little white in there, lighten that up. We're going to talk about blending some of these colors in a little while here too. You can actually blend your Crayola colors to make it almost look like a watercolor. Just putting in a little bit of color here and there my lights in. My sort of beigeish colors. And then I'm going to start putting in some green. I'll use my light greens first. Get some of these greens in here. This is just my lighter, almost that yellowy green color that we have in there. Just putting little bits of it here and there. The further off you work in the distance, the less detail you're going to have. You don't want to put all your detail in. I'm just sort of scribbling this in, getting some color. It's a beautiful sunny day. Nice day to put this in. There we go. Now I can put in a little, oh, bumping into my camera. Uh, I can put some darker green in. I'll slowly build that color in. I want to see how about this color. That's not bad. I'm going to put a little bit of that. I'm putting in a lot of different greens and I'm doing them in different directions because when you look at your cattails they're all going in different directions. I need to bring a little more of my beige back in here. I mixed around in. Some of the grasses here have a little bit of that beige in it too, up through the top. Sometimes to look at things in the distance, it's sort of nice to squint your eyes because you really don't want a lot of detail in the distance. You want most of your detail on your focal point.
Now I can start putting in some of these darkers. Glad I put on my bug spray. Might have a little more detail in this one out front because this one is sticking right out. So it's this one right here. and you can break up your lines. Some areas you're only going to see parts of the lines. Now I got a lot of this green algae around. So I'm going to put those lines in right through here. See, it's going to be a little browner through some of those areas. And some of my algae right up front, right up here. I'll put those darker colors in as we get going. I'm going to put some blue in the back too. I'm going to add a little bit of blue because the blues actually pull things away. Helps to give the impression of things receding. So a little blue gray. So here's how Dallas's is coming along. And like I said, Dallas is working a lot different. He's working with his oils. And he's not spending tons of time because he wants to get this done before the light changes too much. So he's starting to put in his contrast, his shadows and lights and we'll show his stuff as we get going here and I'm uh, I'm gonna get ready to put on uh, my first layer of Turpenoid. You can use mineral spirits, turpentine. Uh, you can actually use baby oil. If you have baby oil, I don't have any with me, but you can use baby oil to smooth the crayon. Here's what we have so far. And I'm going to use, like I said, I'm going to actually use a, a turpentine, but you could use baby oil if you have some at home. It'll do the same thing. Um, it'll, you know, smear it out. If you're doing this, it's nice to use watercolor paper, but you can do it on regular paper. If you do it on regular paper, just have a sheet or two underneath because the baby oil can, can seep through. It'll dry eventually. So uh, we're going to get to doing that. So I'm going to take a little bit, just a little bit of mineral spirit, and we're going to see what happens. I've never done this before. I'm going to see what we do. Oh, and that's well, actually, it's pretty cool. See how it's blending? all those colors together. Do a little more. And a so I'm getting these colors painted in. Just gonna smear it around. And you know what? The neat thing is, I think, I'm gonna try this, I haven't done it yet. You can actually then go back over and smooth out and bring yourself in some more 
because this is a waxy crayon and it actually builds itself up and it gives you sort of that watercolor effect. And I'm going to put a little in the back here. And I like how that looks. So I'm going to do more of the drawing of the crayon and then I think I'm going to come back through and I'll hit the rest of the mineral spirits. I'm going to add just a little bit, going to be darker at the top. So I'm going to push down and I'm even going to add some other blues up here. And then as we get closer down to the bottom, it's going to be a little lighter. Now there actually are some clouds in the sky, but I'm probably not going to bother with my clouds uh, up, up there too much. I'm just going to put these this in. Maybe I'll put some cloud stuff later, but I'm going to bring this just a little bit. I'm not putting it everywhere. Just putting some in here and there. And in between where because those are going to be branches of the tree. So we'll put in a little bit here, a little bit there, and then we'll add in We'll add some of the other color in later. There we go. And just a little lighter down here. And uh, I'll put a little bit of the blue right through here. There we are. Come in through here. Just bring a little of the blue in. So I've got most of my blue over on this side, creating a nice little tension in our picture. And let's put in, eh, let's put in another blue, this little darker blue, up to the top. Let's see. I'm going to put in some of this. You can see how I'm just sort of blue, putting this in be darker at the top. And I won't bring much down here at all, just little smidges of it. Most of it up through the top here. There we go. I hope Dahlia likes what I, the color I put. She doesn't look and say, ah, oh, it's too dark. There we are. So I'll blend that in in a little while here. So that's sort of, that's sort of framing out our picture for us, which is nice. But she, boy, she did a wonderful job putting these, putting these little flecks in. And that's really what we're doing as we, as we create this. You're just putting flecks of those colors in. Just creating ideas of what you're seeing. We'll put in a little bit more. Now back here, I've got another layer I can see of my darker trees coming in. So I'm gonna put that layer coming right there. Bring that in. There we are. A little darker down here at the bottom. It's going to be lighter up at the top because that's where you're going to be seeing all the highlights from the trees. All right. And we'll smear all that together in a little while here. Wipe off some of my crayon stuff. Um, so I'm putting in these lighter crayons now. Some of the color, I don't have all the colors I'd like to have. So I've also been using in between some of my Prismacolor pencils, which as you can see, seem to work a lot like the crayons do. So I'm sort of mixing Prismacolor in pencils in with those crayons. And I'm just doing the nice thing about the Prisma colors, I can just put little bits here and there for the leaf, the dapples of the leaves of the cottonwoods back here.
and I don't want to go too much in because I want to bring some of that blue down from the tree or from the uh, sky and I want to bring some of my green up into the blue and I'm not trying to get every single leaf I'm just sort of squinting my eyes trying to get the idea of where the shading is the shadows under the leaves bring some of it down here work on this tree over here these are in the distance so I don't want detail really to these. The, the detail I really want to be more down here some more of the leaves down here. I'm going to bring this, darken that just a little bit. And a little darker over here. More leaves. This is right in the center of where a lot of those leaves are going to be. This is going to be a little darker than that tree. These trees are... Alright, so we're coming along here. We're coming to the home stretch. I'm using uh, my Prismacolor pencils now because I can push down a little harder on those. But the crayon did a really good job. I got a lot of base color with the crayon and now I'm just filling in some of those colors with the... So I'm just finishing up getting the darks in here and I'm doing that with my Prismacolor uh, pencils because I can push down just a little harder. Prismacolor pencils are waxy just like crayons so they work really well together and I'm not trying to get all the detail I'm just trying to get a good idea of what I'm seeing they're good go get an interpretation of what I'm seeing some of the trees in the water reflections here and right through here it's a lot darker so I'm just putting that in. I've got a log right here too. I can put that log coming in. Back there and I can use a little bit. I don't use my black much. Just in a couple spots just to get that dark that I want. And I'm going to go over all this in a few minutes with that mineral spirit. And a little bit of my light, my white. Try to give the impression that that's a log. And then behind it, I'll do some of my darker color. I might even bring, let's bring some of the blue in just for fun. There's little bits in the sky that are reflecting off the water. There's my light blue crayon. There we go. And that pulls in some of that blue just a little bit, really nicely. And I'll probably go over some of that with one of my, my, my white crayon, just to 
smooth that out a bit. Let's bring a little more brown underneath here. A little bit of the reflection. Smooth in some of that crayon. Bring in little spots of blue here and there. Let's put some of it down here. That's going to be really nice. Bring some over here. And I'll tuck some of the yellow in. We're just about there. I'm really liking these colors and these crayons work pretty well with the with the color pencil. Bring that blue just a little darker through here. I'm really excited about mixing this. I think that's going to be so much fun. All right, let me grab my brush. My brush. I use the bigger brush. I use the bigger brush. And we're going to take, once again, we'll dip that in. And we're going to smooth some of this around. And you can see it starts to work like paint. I can move some of those colors around here and there. And pull some out. Let me grab my... my brush. Or my... paper towel. Bring some of that in here. That really gives it, just smooths things out, sort of gives it that soft look. Clean my brush off. Let's do the sky. Let's make sure, you're, I'm going to make sure my brush is nice and clean because I don't want to... Oh, that comes out nice with the sky, doesn't it? Really mixes in blue. I can just sort of dapple it in with the trees there. I'll clean it off since I... I'm going to bring some white in. Get my white crayon just down below. Find my white crayon. You just had it. I did it. Oh, there it is. Nice. Dallas is my photographer and the guy who finds the stuff that I can't find. So I'm going to lighten the bottom as I was telling my young artist friend, telling her to look, and you guys look same thing. You'll notice that it's a lot lighter towards the horizon and the sky gets. The blues get much richer as you go up during the day. There we go. Let's smooth that. I might even bring in a little more dark of my blue up through there just before I finish. Wouldn't be bad to have a little more blue in there. But that's blending in rather nicely. And you can see, this is just, this is an experiment. This is the first time I've ever done this. So 
I, I'm going to experiment more and more with these colors. The one thing I want to learn to do, figure out how to do, is bring some of my lights in because I'm used to bringing in a lot of my highlights after I have my dark. So that's something I'm going to have to figure out exactly how to do. And I can push some of this and I don't have to get a lot of... I'm even going to go back and forth to sort of soften up those lines back there. I don't want it so defined since that's the background. And you can always go back in and add some more of your crayon or your color pencil. You might have to let your paper dry a little bit. And that's why I say it's really nice using this watercolor paper because um, you can put a lot more of the uh, mineral spirits or, like I said, baby oil. You can use baby oil. I think next time I might, I might try baby oil. Um, but it's going to saturate your paper and uh, you want it to be able to not necessarily bleed on through. I'm going to bring some of that down here. I think we're just about there. That's actually, that's not bad. It's amazing what you can do with Crayola crayons. Let's put a little more of that green back in up here. I need my darker green. There is a darker green. Yeah, I might not be able to, I'm pushing down on it. I might not be able to uh, do much until, until the paper dries. So I might be leaving it here real soon. Let me try a color pencil. That might be where I need to use my colored pencils. Once you push down a certain amount, I might not be able to put down too much more. Let's see what the colored pencil does. Yeah, I can put a little more of my colored pencil, but even that, I'm only putting in so much more, so. You have to. Put in a little bit in through here. And it's nice having some of these blues. And I'm going to put, let's throw in a, you know, up front here. Let's put in, just for fun, let's put a little orange in. like that. And I think a little more blue and I think we've got it. I really like this blue that she picked out. Dahlia picked out great blue. Kids have such good... Nice. Let's put a little weight in here. Push it down a little bit. A little, a little more brown in the cattails and I think we're done. some back in there. Maybe a little purple. 
little more purple back in there. I love the color purple. Bring some down through here. I think that's our picture. So I will sign it. Always remember, sign your pictures, guys. Um, oh, let me just take a little bit of that. There we go. Oh, I wanted to put just a little more blue back up into the sky. If we could. Get some in there, there it goes. And soften it down here. I like that blue, I really like that blue she picked. paper is still wet so I can blend some of that blue in. So I'm going to sharpen my pencil here and uh, we're going to sign the picture and uh, I think we're good to go. Not a bad, uh, not a bad effort for, for the first First crayon. That sort of comes out. There we go. I'll hold it up over here to the to the picture we did. That's the scene. So thanks so much for joining us for Art and Nature at Allwood Audubon. Remember, grab your crayons. You can do this with crayons and pencils, and, and that's all you really need. Just get outside, enjoy the wonderful planet that we've been gifted, and uh, we'll see you at Allwood soon. Thanks a lot.